Arcadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Friday, May 31st, 2024. Good morning, I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin today with news on the rape and sex trafficking lawsuit being brought against Vince McMahon, John Laurinaitis, and WWE by Janelle Grant. McMahon, Laurinaitis, and WWE are now under investigation by the United States Department of Justice, according to an official filing made public yesterday. The investigation has led to a request from the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York that Grant pause her lawsuit while the investigation is underway, to which Grant has complied. The pause in the suit is expected to last approximately six months, according to a Bloomberg report. Additionally, new paperwork has been filed regarding Grant's civil suit listing the federal government as an interested party. Ring of Honor streamed last night on Honor Club featuring matches taped Saturday in Las Vegas, May 16th in Portland, Oregon, and May 11th in Vancouver, British Columbia. In the main event, ROH World Women's Champion Athena defeated Viva Van in a non-title proving ground match. ROH World Tag Team Champions The Undisputed Kingdom were also in action with a non-title win over Jacoby Watts and Nick Camaroto. In other selected results, Lee Johnson won a three-way match over Aaron Solo and Action Andretti. The Premier Athletes beat the Bollywood Boys, Top Flight defeated the Work Horsemen, and Queen Aminata and Red Velvet topped Layla Hirsch and Rachel Elring via referee stoppage. TNA Wrestling presented Impact last night on Access TV, featuring matches taped May 18th and 19th at the Megacorp Pavilion in Newport, Kentucky. The show concluded with TNA World Champion Moose confronting Matt Hardy backstage, which ended in a brawl that saw Moose leave Hardy laying after a series of chair shots. Earlier in the main event, Joe Hendry pinned Eddie Edwards. Party. Hendry! Hendry, look at the strength! Standing ovation! My God! Cover! Joe Hendry has beaten Eddie Edwards! He was your winner, Joe Hendry! You better believe! I believe in Joe Hendry. Hendry withstood one hell of an assault from Eddie Edwards. A former world champion pin dead center of the ring. Things do not bode well for the system ahead of against the odds. X Division champion Mustafa Ali competed in a non title match, defeating Leon Slater. In other results, Chris Bay pinned Ace Austin. Zaya Brookside beat Steph DeLander. Jonathan Gresham went over Sammy Callahan. And Steve Macklin went over Mike Santana via disqualification when Macklin was attacked by the Rascals. In ratings news, Wednesday's Dynamite drew a total audience of 787,000 viewers to TBS, up more than 10% from last week's audience of 713,000, according to PW Torch. The rating in the 18 to 49 year old demographic was a 0.25, up slightly from last week's 0.24 demo rating. NXT drew a total audience of 703,000 viewers to USA Network on Tuesday, according to Russell Nomics. That's a 7% increase from last week's audience of 654,000 and a 24% increase from two weeks ago. The rating in the 18 to 49 year old demographic was up 41%, going from 0.17 last week to 0.24 this week. This week's NXT featured an appearance from hip hop superstar Sexy Red, as well as a surprise appearance from TNA Knockouts World Champion Jordan Grace and the debut of former AEW wrestler Ethan Page. And turning to Japan, New Japan Pro Wrestling presented night 11 of the Best of the Super Juniors tournament yesterday in Tokyo's Korokan Hall, featuring the final round robin matches for Block A. Desperado came in first in the block with 12 points after defeating Hayata in 20 minutes and 27 seconds. Also victorious in Block A matches were Kosei Fujita, TJP, Bushi, and Yoshinobu Kanemaru. The last round of Block B round robin matches were scheduled for today in Korokan Hall as well. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and seven days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The wrestling news can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the wrestling news across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, 
we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall, just the wrestling news. The Wrestling News is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the Wrestling Newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.